What well, going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Baldy Reefer, coming at you today's video, which is part two of the Blackwater Aquascape, which is adding plants and also adding a super special fish, so make sure you stick around to the end on this one. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack, I am indeed The Baldy Reefer, or should I say bald now? I specialise in tropical, cold water, pond and marine fish. This video is all about the Blackwater Aquascape that we did a few weeks ago. Uh, part one, linked above if you've not already seen that. If you are new to the channel, do me a humongous favour, swipe up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification and leave me a like and a comment as well. It does massively help me out as a creator. And if you're returning to the channel, welcome back my people. I know you guys have been waiting around for an update on this one for a while now, but I just wanted to make sure that we're all sort of set up and ready. Now, I need to give a big, big, big shout out uh, to Courtney. Uh, Courtney actually sent me a little care package which is all around Blackwater Aquascapes and how to get a lot of tannins in your water in a very, very short space of time. So, without further ado, let me grab the box that she sent. And I can show you exactly what she sent. So, it came in this little box with some plants as well, which I've already had to put the plants in here. But I, again, I'll show you that in a moment and how I've aquascaped it the way that I have. But she also sent a little handwritten note. The note says, Dear Jack, hope these help with the black water scape. Sorry the plants are not in the best condition. They've been floating in a spare tank for a while. The plants, just as an FYI, are absolutely perfect. Uh, keep up the amazing videos and the Friday night lives. Hopefully when the Rona uh, sods off and Bojo lets us live again, I'll come down for a tour of the pods and the fish room. Stay safe from Courtney. So if you're watching Court, thank you very much. I do massively, massively appreciate it. Now, in my box of goodies, she sent down these pods which are very lightweight, they do float, but I've had them in the aquarium now for two weeks. Uh, there's one, there's two left floating and two have sunk. And then she also sent through this little bag of goodies. So there are alder cones in here, there's pine cones in here. Um, there's some of these katapa pods in there as well. Um, and then there's also some other little bits and pieces, which is like dried up sort of uh, crustaceans and leaves and stuff. These are absolutely incredible. There are also some of these little pods as well. So super, super cool little addition. I literally put four alder cones in with the wild caught Peruvian angelfish. Um, put like four in there, complete that water tank overnight. Absolutely incredible. Let me spin you around though and actually show you the tank setup now. And then I'm going to show you the fish that we're putting in the air because we've got a breeding trio because we are going to be breeding in here as well. Um, so I'm super excited for this one. But let me spin you around. Boom. There we have it. The black water scape. Here are the two floating pods I was telling you about a moment ago. I'll tell you what, let me shut the lights off so you guys can actually see how black water this is. You go lights off an awful lot less glare. So there's the two pods floating just there. The other two are literally sat down here. They've just sunk and done their own thing. We've got the oak leaves uh, that we dried and steeped and then put in. And obviously we've got the different bogwood shapes and features that are in here as well. But it is doing super, super well. Courtney also sent a lot of this um, Java fern. that I've, I haven't glued it down. I've just literally attached it onto the rocks and just let it do its own thing. She also sent me some of these Amazon swords as well, which again, I've just literally got dotted in. And obviously some of the bigger sword plants as well. And obviously there's some more just down there in the corner. Not particularly bothered about the way that that pod there has fell because the plants will be able to sort of grow round and do their own thing. And I've intentionally left this side a little bit more open. I mean, there is, again, an Amazon sword down there, or a valley, should I say, a valley sword. Um, and there's another little valley sword in there as well. But, what do you guys think of this scape? Like I say, the only thing different that I've had to do is because, like I say, uh, the plants have been in the mail for th uh, three to five days. I wanted to get them in here straight away. My camera was dead at the time, but literally all I've done, no root tabs or anything like that, just literally placed them straight in and literally just let it do its own thing. But we've got a super, super interesting fish to go in here, or should I say three fish to go in here. 
Now, let me get them floating in the aquarium and then I'll talk to you a little bit more about the fish. And obviously this video is also gonna be a little bit of a care guide uh, on the fish as well. So it's gonna be the first care guide on the Balding Reefish channel. Also got some snails in here too. You guys know me, I love my snails being in the tank, creates that full ecosystem. Looks absolutely incredible. Let me snap back to you in a second then. Okay. So the fish are now acclimating. I don't know if you can see those, but these are the Nanakara anomala, or as they're more commonly known, the golden eyed dwarf cichlid. These are actually a breeding trio that I've had off my, uh, my friend Marek. So he's brought these up. These are mouth brooders with them being a cichlid. So when they spawn, they'll actually hold the fry in their mouth. But they're a cave dwelling species. Uh, they're like a pH between 6.8 and 7.2. Uh, so soft water, which is obviously why they're going into the black water scape with it being a soft water scape. Um, they like a lot of cover. They're like densely planted as well. So obviously as all these start to grow through, there's a hell of a lot of cover in here. There's so many different little hidey holes for them to get into and stuff like that. So they're gonna be absolutely perfect. But let me cut this bag open now they've been acclimating away for sort of 20 minutes, half an hour. And we'll, uh, we'll get them dropped in. Okay, here we go. So they might hide away at first, but I think you'll agree they suit this scape tremendously well. Temperature between sort of 24 and 26. They are a community based fish as well, so you could keep some uh, tetras in here with these guys as well and different things. So yeah, super, super happy. Like I say, he's already shot down there. You can just see the little silhouette of him. Already rooted away for some food, which is always a good sign. This little dude up here is hiding away at the top. And then the other one is just around the back there. Absolutely stunning, stunning fish though. Uh, we are going to try and actually get these spawning in here so we can actually raise up uh, some of the fry. And obviously once they're settled in we will do an update video on these and free swimming round and whatnot. But let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of the super simple black water aquascape? Is it something that you guys are going to do as well? Let me know. But we'll draw the video to a close there. So thank you very much for watching. Really enjoyed doing this aquascape. Obviously we've got two more aquascape videos that are in the process of being made at the moment, which run the shelves above me, hence me getting down low to say goodbye to you guys. Um, follow me on social media because I am putting a lot of pictures out on my social media and also my YouTube stories as well. Um, so Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer. Instagram slightly different. So that's at the dot balding dot reefer. But as ever, Stay safe, stay sane, and most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.